The Malpas brothers don't just sound retro, they are retro. Christopher and Taylor Malpas fell in love with traditional country music as young boys while listening to their granddad's phonograph records. By the age of seven and 10, they were winning talent competitions, playing traditional music that they loved. Well, today they promote the music of classic country artists while creating their own style of traditional country music. Now, they're also two very funny and entertaining guys. Would you please welcome two of the greatest talents I've known, the Malpas Brothers. We're so happy to have you Thank guys you, here. Sir. Thank you, Thank you. Know, oh, I love that you have embraced traditional country music. I mean, I, I don't dislike modern country. I like a lot of genres of music, but I kind of want my country to be authentic and old school. So what drove you to, to that embrace and you've still stuck with it? Well, I always tell folks uh, our background's kind of interesting because my grand grandfather on my dad's uh, side ran a, a little honky tonk and, <laughs> and my mom's dad, my other grandfather was a preacher <laughs> and they both <laughs> sang. So we had it coming from both angles and um, we just fell in love with the, with the purity of that music. I mean, it was just, uh, there's such soul and such emotion in that music yeah. um, that it was instant love for us. And, and it's storytelling, isn't it? Oh, yes, sir, for sure. You, you can, it's every, every song is almost like a movie if you really listen to it. Yeah. yeah. And one of the things I'm intrigued by, you guys traveled with and opened for Merle Haggard for seven years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. How cool is that? Well, you know, it was always a dream to just get meet Merle because, in my opinion, he was country music's greatest. And uh, then when we had the opportunity to open for him and work with him seven years, I mean, he was so good to us. And uh, if I watched every night after we'd, we'd open the show, I'd watch his show and just watch his magic, you know, because it just came so easy for him. Uh, he was a true uh, American legend, really, he was. Now, one of the things that I think uh, you're going to make a big announcement here on this show, because for all these years, you guys have maintained some uh, side careers. So, you know, you've done your music, but you've also kept uh, busy. So talk about what you've done and then tell us what's, what's going to be new coming forward. Well, um, you know, did you want to say something to him? You were, what were you I just, <laughs> before we go, I, I just want to tell you what an honor it is to be on the Johnny Carson show. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I've always wanted to be on it. So. Uh, Johnny's dead, and I'm not quite that good. <laughs> I thought I had it confused, but oh, I that's right. There you and go. I, we were backstage, and Taylor goes, "So he is Republican, right?" <laughs> <laughs> I sure believe I am. I believe yeah. so, yes, uh, sir. Uh, so you're asking our jobs. Um, so for I probably I worked in the back of and uh, farming in general from the time I was about 14 up until right here recently. Can you understand what, we, what we're saying? Look, I grew up in South Arkansas. Okay, I good. get it totally. <laughs> I understand everything. Well, there was a lady backstage that asked us where we were from, and I told her New Jersey. She didn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've all, uh, we've, I love I, anything agriculture, and I've been, I, we did that. Like, like I say, we've done that and juggled music, or I did that and juggled yeah. music. He actually was a tramp. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've been a mechanic um, all my life, and even when we were working with Merle, um, you know, we would come home, maybe be home a month or so, or a couple of weeks, and I'd go right to the transmission shop and and uh, work, and then head right back out. I had a great boss um, back home in Goldsboro, and and he just was, and I, it was important to us. You know, there's, there's, it's a lot of pride thing for me to, to work and, and support your family, and, and uh, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big deal to me to, to have that job. And so uh, for a long time, that's the way we did it. We, we did, you know, both, back and forth. Kind of like biblical tent makers, you know, that's you had a side job going. Well, you know, one of the things I, I so respect, because a lot of people don't want to work at all. They don't oh. want to take one job, much less two, but there is something, I mean, your careers are beginning to take hold in a big way, which I'm so happy to see. So what is the announcement that you've got to tell us tonight? Well, we've, we've decided to um, just take, you know, uh, Merle told me one time, he said, anybody can swing a hammer, but only a chosen few get to do this. He said, and you've got to jump in with both feet eventually. And, and that's what we did. We decided to let our, our day jobs go and just focus on our, 
music, and I'm still struggling with it. I feel a little guilty because we're traveling the country now and, and just seeing people not working, it, it just, it really, it tugs at my heart, but I have to realize this is my job now, and um, so we're just putting all our effort into this. I'm excited that you're going full time. The you make, country needs this kind of great music. After y'all hear us, you might, after you hear us, you may want your tobacco pick or your transmission. <laughs> you might think that's what I No, no, no. After they hear you guys, I guarantee you they're going to say, those guys, wherever the top is, that's where they're headed. And I'm telling you, Thank you. you're going to love their music. And you can find out more information about the Malpas Brothers, including links to their website and social media at the all-new Huckabee.tv, which gives you a link to everyone you see on the show. You're going to love it.